Hi, this is Christian Cantrell, and today I'd like to show you an application I wrote called Search Central in order to demonstrate the new native process APIs in Air2. Before I talk about the APIs, I'll show you how the uh, application works. Search Central is a uh, central application for finding information and data. It lets you search your local file system, or you can search Google or Wikipedia. For example, I've been doing some research on motorcycles, so if I want to find some files on my local file system that pertain to my research, um, I can just type BMW and I see the results down here. Um, I can search for a BMW um, just in the file name or in the contents of the file. Um, I can then uh, double click on any of these files to uh, open them in their default application. So in this case, there's a, I have an image of a BMW on my hard drive. And I double click on it and it opens in preview. Um, I can also uh, look up information on Wikipedia by clicking on this tab here, or I can search Google. And of course I can um, you know, follow any of these links and uh, browse them right here. Um, the window's a little bit um, a little bit squished because I'm trying to uh, fit this you know, all in one tiny screencast, but you get the idea. I can also open links in my uh, browser by clicking on this button down here. Um, when I decided to write this app, I know I didn't want to write ActionScript code to index the entire hard drive when there are already applications out there that do that really well, like Spotlight, for instance. So I discovered that I can invoke Spotlight from the command line through a command called mdfind. So what I'm doing is I'm using the new native process APIs to invoke mdfind. Then I'm just parsing the results that I get back, which I'm reading from standard out and displaying them in the state of grid. Um, you can invoke um, executables that are already on the machine like I'm doing with Search Central, or you can bundle your own executables with your application. The only restriction is if you're going to use the native process APIs, you have to bundle your application as a native installer rather than an air file. So we do this in order to preserve the cross-platform nature of air files. So air files can always be installed on Mac, Windows, or Linux and pretty much be expected to run identically across platforms. And if you want um, an app that uses native code, you distribute it as a native installer. On Mac, that's a DMG file. On Windows, it's an EXE. Um, and on Linux, it's a Red Hat or a Debian package manager. And we will provide the tools to create native installers with the Air2 SDK. Um, so I'll show you a quick demo. Um, this is a DMG file that I created from the Air2 SDK for installing Search Central. And when I double click on it, it mounts that DMG. And now there's a, an app file, which when I double click on it, will launch the installer to allow me to install Search Central, or it would if it wasn't already installed, but you get the idea. Um, the ability to launch and communicate with native processes has probably been one of the biggest feature requests since Air 1. Um, and, uh, and we will have full support starting with Air 2. And we're definitely looking forward to seeing what you guys build. Thanks for watching.